Hello and welcome to my Woolly Wumpkins channel. My name's Michelle and today I've been asked by a customer um, to give a little bit of help to her husband Alan who's learning to knit today and it sounds like he's quite determined so I thought yes come on in let's make a lovely video so that Alan can go from both his book which which is what he's been endeavouring to learn from this morning and then it's always best to learn in more than one way, isn't it? To read something, to see something, bring it all together. So Dawn has said that you're using um, circular needles. So that's the needles with the cord in between. So I've just got a little one here because this is just going to be a little tester knit. I'm not knitting a full scarf or anything. Got myself a little ball of yarn. Now I've got lovely pure wool. This is not at all scratchy. This is soft and it's a dream to knit with. So uh, hopefully it'll be able to give you a nice clear definition, Alan, so you can see what I'm doing. So we'll start off with, obviously we've got to get our yarn attached to our needle. So there's two main ways. Um, the first way is to make a not a knot but you know a just tie your yarn loosely like this which I'm guessing you're going to know how to do but I can show you this actually I'll, come on Michelle do this properly so we get your yarn and you make a circle and then we tuck the this is called the tail end of the yarn and then this is called the working end of the yarn because it's still attached to the ball. So it's gonna it's about to start some work, whereas the tail end is the end of it. It's not really gonna do much for us. What one thing I would say is um this tail end has to be, let's make this a bit further up here. There you go, like that. It has to be longer than a sewing needle. So say your sewing needle is this long. You have to make sure that it's longer than that because you're going to put your sewing needle on and then you're going to fold it up to sew the end in when you've finished your garment. Maybe that's too much information at the moment, but about this length, what was that? Uh, about four inches is long enough to sew the end in. So we've made our loop and then we catch our tail end and we just bring it like this. Now you can either put your needle in there now, like that, and just pull both ends of the string and it's attached. Or, boop, we can, do what I showed in the beginning there, make ourselves a circle, get our tail end, pick up and bring it through the circle there like that and then slide our needle through on this side and then we can just pull both ends and it'll go nice we want it to be freely moving we we don't want it loose let's just as we had it just now we don't want it too loose let's pull that so we wouldn't want it to be that loose because that's just going to look scruffy and confuse you when you come to knitting it so you want it so that this is fairly close to the needle. You've got that gap, but enough gap for a needle to fit through it. It's a bit awkward for me to do it this way because I'm actually looking through the screen of a camera. There we go. So that, that, that's tight enough for us, okay? Now, again, there are many ways to cast on. There's the long tail cast on. There's the E-wrap cast on. There's the thumb cast on. Lots of cast-ons, but this is the way my nan taught me when I was two or three. And I feel for beginners, it's the best way because in a way you practice, you're already practicing knitting. So you've got your first stitch attached to the needle. We're going to turn that around so that our first stitch is close to the tip. Now I'm right-handed, so... This video is going to be presented with me knitting with my right hand, but I'm also going to put up the same, very same video with the same words exactly, 
but I'm going to get YouTube to flip it so that uh, if you're left-handed, you can still follow it. So I'm going to wriggle this. Now, this is my right hand. So if you're looking at it and it's on the left hand of the screen, you're watching the left-handed version. So I suggest you watch whichever version corresponds to whether you're left or right-handed. Okay, so we're going to take our working yarn. And this is where I'm going to come a bit closer now. So I was our working yarn. And I, I always tuck the waist yarn back this way. And what we're going to do, you're going to put the tip of this needle into the stitch that's on your original needle. So you're going to go through the hole that I showed you earlier like this okay so but you're coming in from the front and you're pushing through to the back okay like that then you're going to take your working yarn and you're going to take it around the back needle towards the front like this so that it goes in between the two needles okay and bring it to the front here so our aim here is to use our back needle to catch the loop that's between the needles and we're going to bring it through that first stitch. Can you see that? So we've got now, we've got a stitch on our left needle, we've got a stitch on our right needle. So that, that's no good to us at the moment. So what we now have to do is take our original needle and we're going to fit that into the loop on the right needle and once it's on pull the right needle out then give your working yarn just a gentle tug because we still want this to be movable loose enough to be able to get this needle back into it so let's do that again we're going to go in through the front loop Okay, so you're just going through one loop, one strand. Okay, then you're going to bring your working yarn around from the back. Oops, catch it around the needle and go through the middle of the two needles. Bring your right hand needle down so that it catches that yarn that you've just brought around. Little pull, you've got two loops on this side, one on this side. Take your original needle and pick off the stitch from the right hand needle. Once it's on, you take the right hand needle away and you give a little gentle pull. So now you've got three stitches on the needle. It doesn't look it yet, but the more stitches we get, you're going to get a nice tidy edge under here. It's starting to form. There's a loop there, loop there, loop there. So let's do it again. We're going to go in through the front, just of that one strand. Okay. Wrap our working yarn around the back of the back needle. Then go in through the middle of the two needles. The back needle is going to catch the loop. See, it's catching the loop with the tip. And then you're going to bring it around, bring around the left needle and go in the front loop like that. Take your right needle away. Okay. Now, if I'm going too fast for you, if you're on a phone, um, up by here, to tap on your screen and there'll be a little cog shape by here, the settings cog. Tap on that and then have a look at the drop down list that comes. And one of them says um, film speed or video speed. Tap on that and it, you can change the speed right down as slow as you need it to go. Okay. So I'm going to knit, um, well, at least another six for you so you can see how to continue to cast on. So we remember we go in through the front. Okay, just the front. That's the front strand there going around. Yep. Yeah. Take our yarn and we wrap it around the back needle, come through the middle. Then we take our right needle, catch the yarn, pull it through and 
gently transfer onto the left needle by going through the front of the loop and feeding it onto the needle. Do it again through the front, wrap around, catch the yarn, bring the yarn around to go onto the left needle. So through, catch the yarn, and then bring it around, oops, around so that we can put it onto the left needle. And again, through the loop. Sorry, is this close enough or not? I'm aware that, for me, I, I can see what I'm doing, but um, I want to make sure you can see, so I'll start that again. Into the front. Yarn around the back and through the middle. Catch the yarn, bring the yarn forward, then bring the left needle to the front, tuck it into the front of the stitch on the right needle and transfer the stitch over. We've got two, four, six, eight stitches. Let's do some more. Into the front, yarn around the back, bring it down to the middle, catch the yarn, Bring it forward a little, then move the needle so the left comes in front and transfer the stitch from the right to the left. Into the front, yarn around and down the middle, catch the yarn, bring it forward, transfer the left needle to the front and then transfer the stitch from the right to the left needle. So now you can see that this edge here is looking quite neat. It's giving us a nice edge. So if you were making a scarf or a hat or well, anything really, and you want that nice neat edge, this way of casting on is giving you that lovely neat edge. So now that's casting on, but it's very similar to actual knitting. So we're going to knit this row now. We're going to go into the first stitch. So I'm going to see if I can actually go a little bit closer and move my hand down there. I should give you a better. So still we're always using the, the working yarn. So you're going to go in to the first stitch, yarn around as before. And down the middle, we're going to catch the yarn and bring it through. But this time, we're not the, the stitch that we're going to transfer is not this stitch, but this stitch. So we're going to slide it off the left needle. Now, I'm just, it's a little awkward for me because I'm filming myself. So we'll do it again. We'll go into the stitch from the front, yarn around the back and down the middle, catch the yarn and slide off the back stitch. There we go. And we do that all the way down. So into the front, catch the yarn down the middle there. Sorry, bring the yarn around and down the middle, catch the yarn and then slide off the stitch. All the time, we're not pulling this yarn super tight. We're, we're put, it's tight in a controlled way. We don't want super tight because you won't be able to get, when you're trying to knit, you won't be able to get your needle through it. Um, so that's why we, we're aiming for a loose but controlled looseness, all right? Right then, let's continue. Into the front. Yarn around the back and down the middle, catch the yarn, pull off the back stitch. Into the front of the stitch, yarn around the needle and down the middle, catch the yarn, pull off the back stitch. Into the front, around from the back to the front and down the middle here, 
catch the yarn, slide off the back stitch into the front, yarn around the back, down the middle, catch the yarn, slide off the back stitch into the front, around the back, down the middle, catch the yarn, slide off into the front, around the back, and down the middle there, catch the yarn, slide off the back, into the front, around the back, down the middle, catch the yarn, and slide it off. And there we have it, we've knitted our first row. Look at that, aren't you clever? <laughs> and it really is as simple as that, and you can give, this is the turning, you give that a little, just a little tug if it loosens too much. But look how neat and how tidy that is. And then you turn your needle, like that, and you do it again. So I, I, as I said earlier, I know I've gone a bit too fast probably. So I do advise you slow me down a bit. <laughs> but at the same time, I didn't want to be too long. You know, you don't want a two hour video on how to knit your first row. But what I will do, I'll knit this row now to just to show you how it looks when you've knitted the two rows, okay? So let's make sure our that's our tail yarn and we're gonna tuck that out of the way down there. And then here we go. We're gonna go into our stitch from the front with our working yarn. Just loosening some of this off because it's I've used up all this. There we go. Start again, shall I? Into the front. Catch the yarn. Slide off the back stitch. Into the front. Yarn around and down the middle. Catch the yarn. Slide it off. Into the front. Around the back, down the middle. Catch the yarn. Slide off the back stitch. Into the front. Around the back, down the middle. Catch the yarn, slide off the back stitch. Into the front, around to the middle. Catch the yarn, slide off the back stitch. Into the front, around the back and down the middle. Catch the yarn, slide off the back stitch. Into the front, around the back, down to the middle there. Catch the yarn. Slide it off the back stitch into the front, around the back, down the middle, catch the yarn, slide off the back stitch into the front, around the back, down to the middle, catch the yarn, slide off the back stitch into the front, yarn around, down to the middle. Catch the yarn, slide off the back stitch. And there we have row two. So this, this side is, is it has uh, like a uniformity, but it's not the tidiest side. The tidiest side will be this side. So the tidy side is always called the right side. And the scruffier side is always called the wrong side. Okay. Now, if I can be of any more assistance, please let me know. And for anybody else watching this video, I hope this has helped you as well. Um, I do teach locally and uh, people are able to pick it up quite quickly using this method. But if it's not for you, let me know how you learn and I'll see if I can make a quick little video for you as well. But for now, if you haven't already, please do like and subscribe because uh, learning to knit, it doesn't, um, it, it's something that you, you're going to have to watch again and again to be able to remember how to do it. But once, once it's there inside your brain and you get that bit of muscle memory with your fingers, you'll be, you'll be away, you'll be creating amazing garments in no time. So yeah, 
I've been Michelle and thank you for watching and I'll see you soon with another little tutorial. But bye for now. Bye bye.